Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really cool effect called the Mosaic effect. We are going to be turning this portrait of a baby, and we're going to warp it into this. It's a nice little retro-ish sort of look. It takes me about 5 seconds tops, give or take. All of this video is going to be about 3 to 4 minutes, go figure. If you would like to see other outcomes, there's a link in the description to my blog. If you're watching this from my blog, they're below the video. If you would like to submit your outcome, email me from the contact me page or the description, of course. All right, so let's get started here. You want to open up your picture in Photoshop. That's common sense, of course, I hope. Then once you're done doing that, this is something that I do no matter what sort of project I'm working on. I always duplicate the first layer in case I screw up somewhere. So I'm going to press Control J. That's going to copy that layer. Then I'm going to go to Filter. And I'm going to apply a Mosaic filter. That's Pixelate Mosaic. Now, at this part, you might want to choose a sort of look that doesn't make it all blocky. Like, let's see. Like 33, it's all blocky. You, can, there's, you can't see the picture there. So go ahead and choose a nice small number to where you can sort of see the picture. I'm going to be using 4. Or maybe five. Uh, let's try five. Yeah. Press OK. Now remember what you just chose because we're going to open up a new canvas and make a new pattern right now with that same size. Go to File New. And we just use five. So that's five, that's five pixels, not 58 now. Five pixels by five pixels. And we're going to press OK. It's a nice little block right there. You can barely see it. So let's zoom in all the way here. Unlock the background layer by double clicking the background layer part. <laughs> Press OK. Then you want to get out your elliptical marque tool. Start in the corner here. Press and hold shift. And then just sort of drag out your mouse to where you make a nice perfect circle in this block. It's going to turn into a cross, but that's because of how small this canvas is. So all we want to do is just press the delete button. So we delete the middle part and then control D to deselect. Now we're going to make this into a pattern. We're going to go to edit, define pattern, name it uh, dots five by five. Press OK. You can close this or save it for later. Then we're going to come back to our, port our portrait of the baby and we're going to make a new layer. We're going to name that. I always name my layers, although the background isn't named, but who cares? I'm going to name it uh, pattern dots. Then I'm going to fill this layer with the pattern. I'm going to go to edit, fill, or shift F5. Then choose the pattern that I just made and press OK. As you can see, it looks pretty crappy right there. On some pictures, that's all you have to do. But for this one, it looks somewhat bad. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and change it to overlay. Uh, that looks OK. Oh, hi, R or will it talk about spam? Then I'm going to lower the opacity down. And there we go. That's basically it. There's not much to it at all. Um, so thanks for watching. If you can, out of your spare time, visit my blog. Link in the description, of course. And I'll see you next time.